Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this installment of Dads on Wrestling, I believe episode 61. 52 weeks, plus... Specials. Many, yeah, plus specials. That sounds about right. Episode 61 of Dads on Wrestling, I am the cult of personality, the renegade of wrestling, J.J. Williams. I guess that makes me the messiah of hope, Jeff Meacham? I, I, I don't know. Speaking of hope, what is the deal with your shirt? Today? I am wearing this as a symbol to prove that if President Obama can install instill hope in everybody, even though it hasn't really happened in the last couple years, John Cena can rise above hate wearing these same colors. Or some sort of garbage like that. To be honest with you, it's the only clean shirt I have left. That's okay, the so the honest to God truth has finally come out. Yeah, the honest to God truth is I need to do laundry, and this is what I had left. I am a supporter of President Obama. I have been from the get, but I just don't wear this shirt because last time I wore Obama stuff on my shows, I got major flack for it. I have a tasty beverage, good I'm, sir. I'm sure you do. And my tasty beverage is all out, so I can't I can't do anything about that. That's where the other red one went. I was wondering where that went. That's right. Anyway. We are here to talk today about our predictions. Yes. For the Royal Rumble. The road to WrestleMania begins on Sunday. This Sunday. After the, the fanfare of the NHL All-Star Game dies down yes. for about an hour, <laughs> then we'll go to the Rumble. Now, I want to I wanna make sure this is known. Yes. This is being filmed prior to SmackDown. This will probably be up prior to SmackDown. So yes. if anything major happened on SmackDown, we don't know. We don't know about it because we don't read spoilers. That's right. So, to our knowledge, the card is what we're what about to talk about. What it is, that's right. And, like I said, if something gets added, then, you know, we'll go on our respective Facebooks, throw our two cents in out there, so on and so forth. And on those but Facebooks, you can find the 30-Day Movie Challenge. That's right. Check those out in the coming 28 days for me, 25 days for yes. you, and 20, whatever Eight it is, days 20 for days for Jade. We tried to get Stat Boy to do it, but he's a fucking puss. And he That's won't right, do it. you won't do it. Lame. Stat Boy, lame. We'll go Sandlot here. He's an L7 weenie. weenie. That's right. That's right. Oh, stool. So, John Cena versus Kane. Speaking of L7 weenies. Uh, yes, John Cena is. You know, we saw the look of doom on John's face Monday. That's right. It looks like the hate is starting to consume Mr. Super Cena. Cena. It, 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 I would imagine that... We will see John embrace the hate Sunday. Yes. And then come uh, Monday. I think he will be turning to the dark side of the force. That's right. You don't know the power. Oh, John knows the power. That's right. John knows. And Cain is a good Sith Lord. He's a good Sith Lord. And by the way, I agree with the Wild Fan Club. Okay, this is random. LA okay. police officers are Sith Lords. End of story. Okay. Okay. Anyway. So Go on Twitter and find out what I'm talking about. All right. John Cena versus Kane. This is honestly the hardest one for me to call on. It really is, but I... I, I think I, John Cena is going to take it and possibly embrace the hate. If he doesn't embrace the hate fully on Sunday, then come Monday, I think we will see full-on hatred in the eyes of the doctor. But, but will we see him embrace the hate to the point where he gets himself disqualified? That's a good point. Or will he get himself embrace the hate so much that he overcomes the demon of Death Valley? Oh, sorry, that, that's the Undertaker. That's the Undertaker. The yeah. devil's favorite son. Demon. That's yes. right. Devil's favorite demon. Devil's favorite demon, thank you. Shout yes. out to Double A off camera. Thank you, sir. Devil's favorite demon, Kane. I, I, I believe... That John will embrace the hate so much that he loses control and gets disqualified. So Kane will come out on top. That's oh well, it, it really depends what you call it, coming out on top. Because if John embraces the hate, Kane's gonna get his ass whooped. Exactly. So you know, winning, winning is it's about surviving in this case. Yes. Beat me if you can. Survive if I let you. So John's gonna be a suplex machine Sunday. Win if you can, lose if you must, but always cheat. Thank you, Jesse. Or Bobby. Everyone, Classic Fred Blassie. Classic Fred Blassie, too. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and say Cena. Okay. And you're saying I'm Kane saying Kane because by Cena gets defeated. Yes. Okay. Yes. The World Heavyweight Championship 
triple threat steel cage match. Oh, Brian's in trouble. Featuring fat, fatter, and what the fuck? Yeah. Mark Henry versus the Big Schmo versus Brian Danielson. Yes. Because Daniel Bryan is what, Jeff? That's right. That's right. I hate to go against Brian, mm -hmm. but all the odds are against him in this one. Mm -hmm. And as much as I'd love to see him hold the belt into WrestleMania, I just don't see it happening. Okay. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Big Sean. I don't know why. I don't know how. Brian retains. Okay. And you've got no theories as to how possibly he'll pull it off? No. I just, I have, uh, that's my gut instinct. That's my gut feeling. I won't be mad if Brian wins. I won't Trust me, mad. I love Brian Danielson. Yes. But it, it's starting to get to the point like it was with The Miz last year and JBL a few years prior, where the odds are just getting so stacked against him, it's hard to pick them. Yet they managed to still overcome the odds. JBL overcame Undertaker, Eddie Guerrero, Booker T. All three of them, both uh, under no, both the uh, Big Show and Kurt Angle. Big Show in a barbed wire cage mm -hmm. before he, finally falling to Cena. To Cena, exactly. Brian hasn't had near the adversity. It's only been two months. Not even two True. months. It's only been a month. True, but I do believe if he survives the cage. You've got to figure next is the chamber. Okay. Will he survive the chamber? I don't know if he'll survive the chamber. We talked about this before. I don't know if he'll survive the chamber, but he will survive the cage match. I don't okay. know why, but I think he will. I hope he does, too. I just want to go on record as saying that I hope. But if, if I have to bet in Vegas mm -hmm. on this match, mm -hmm. I'm betting on the big show. I'm going against the odds makers. Okay. WWE Championship. CM Punk. Straight edge savior himself. Best in the world at what he does. Oh, wait. It's somebody else. Never mind. Versus Dolph Ziggler. Where I wish we had Dylan here right now so he could do the Dolph Ziggler for us. Oh, Vicky Guerrero is banned from ringside. Yes. As is Jack Swagger. But. John Laurinaitis is the referee. But as we found out Monday, Mr. Laurinaitis has been put in his place. Yes. You will have to toe the line Sunday. So we think. Because he's, ha he's having a company review Monday from the CEO himself. Like now, I came up with an interesting theory okay. regarding this match based off of the events of the last couple weeks. All right. And I didn't tell you about it before because whenever I tell you a theory of mine, you tend to be the first to blab it out on camera and you know sell it as if it's yours until I give you the look of doom. Then you say, no, that, that was him that thought of that. I almost always give you credit. I have a feeling we are going to see a John Laurinaitis ref bump and the emergence of referee Nick Paul. Okay. And then what? With Punk retaining, being that that'll be the only way Punk gets the retain. Because although... John Laurinaitis has to tow the company line. We all know he will. Okay. He will be out of place when Punk scores a pinfall. He'll be out of place when Punk goes for a submission. Mm -hmm. He'll automatically have to yawn or stretch if Punk is going for a pinfall. He'll quick count for Ziggler. But then what does that say about his job review coming the next night? He's in trouble. Triple H has always been one of the dirtier players out there. I mean, seriously, with the exception of this last run, when was the last time you saw Hunter as a babyface? Mm -hmm. When he came back at the Garden and won the Rumble? It's been a minute. Hunter has been, been known face. as a heel and a buck the system type of guy but the system, pretty yes, much his entire career. Now he is the system. Yeah. He sees somebody else out there doing what he used to do, bucking the system. He's gotta respect that. Maybe. But does he respect Punk more or Laurinaitis more? That's the question. We'll 
say. I am going to say CM Punk retains the WWE Championship as well. Not necessarily the way Jay said it, but I, I do think he's going to walk out the champion. And, you know, my theory may not come to fruition, but it seems like whenever Mick Foley comes around, around the time of a big match or a big match with a special referee, always seems to find his way into the match with that spray-painted referee shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Christy Richie Posner. Credit, credit McFoley's book. And that brings us, of course, to the 30-man over-the-top rope Royal Rumble match. And I say, right here and now, that this grand plan of yours is going to come to fruition. So I'll let you say your pick first, because we, we, we've been talking about this off and on. I, I think I even blew it on the air myself. I don't remember if I said it or not, but you've been saying that a certain person's going to win and then cash it in on somebody who has stolen the win the Rome winner's thunder, essentially. Chris Jericho. Sir. All the rumors have been talking about how those It Begin promos were to set up a Punk Jericho match. Both men call themselves the best in the world. Both of whom stole that from Brian Danielson in the first fucking exactly. place. Exactly. So maybe we should just make it a fucking triple threat. There we go. But yeah. If Jericho doesn't win, then my number two pick would be Randy Orton. Being as how the Rumble is being held in his hometown of St. Louis, Missouri. I'm going to say Jericho outright only because Randy's won it before. They they very they have not done a two-time winner since Stone Cold. And Stone Cold three times now. They have not done a two-time run winner in 11 years. They may be due for Maybe. I but mean, Randy was injured with a back injury. Yeah. Comes back tomorrow on SmackDown. Royal Rumble's in his home of St. Louis. Yeah, I know. What better Cinderella story is there? I still say Jericho's going to win. So do I. As, you do, as do you. So, so do I, but I'm just saying that if Jericho doesn't win, mm -hmm. Randy Orton. We'll see. I, you know, I'm, a, I'm making my official pick as Chris Jericho. I, you know, the, the, the backup, backup may be Orton. It could, it could be any of the 28 guys. There's, there's, there's 21 entrants right now which leaves nine spots. Three of those spots will be filled by... The losers of the title yeah, matches. title matches, exactly. So we could see, we'll, probably see, we'll see Big Show, we'll see Mark Henry, and we'll see Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler could win. And, Possible. You know, cash he's here in, to show the world. He, exactly. You know, I don't see Big Show and Mark Henry winning. They've got more than a chance over the last year. This is true. You know, I don't see them winning. Dolph Ziggler is a dark horse if he does indeed lose the championship. Match. If Punk loses... What we talked about before, also, yeah. he could go into the Rumble and win and, and challenge Brian. Brian, and then Brian will retain to WrestleMania. Yes, and then oh freaking god! Yes. So now anything can happen. We still got, got, got a couple here. minutes left, I believe, on the camera. Yes. Surprise entrance. Who do you yeah. think we could see as a prospective surprise entrant? Well. I've, I've, been, got, I've got two in my mind, but I'm throwing the question to you first. Okay, well, I've been hearing a lot about... Um, you You and I first talked about the Horsemen. Yes. And, you know, I'm sure you're going to say this right now. I'm probably stealing your thunder again. Actually, no, this is okay, one of the ones I was okay, going to say. Go ahead. You know, Arn, Arn's not going to go. He's yeah. not going to go in there. He's too beat up. He might throw in there, like, throw somebody a spine buster just to, you know, just for the shits and giggles of it, like he did at WrestleMania 18. But, you know, Tully is still, I think, raring to go, and Barry could, you know. And, honestly, I don't know if he's even under contract TNA. He's still appearing on TV, but that was taped a minute ago. What if Ric Flair's in the Rumble? Holy shit. True. And, True. This, and, this, and this retirement really meant nothing. Yeah, right. Which means going back to Florida <laughs> for a week at Disneyland was awesome. Disney World was awesome, but going to WrestleMania was useless. Do I, I did. I did throw that out as perspective, you know, with you. But and then I, I don't see it as a realistic possibility. The two I was going to name are 
ones I think are more realistic. Go ahead if you have another one. I, I was going to say also, I've been hearing, I don't know if he's with TNA anymore or not. I don't know what his status is, but I've been hearing Rob Van Dam's name thrown out there, too. Okay. So if Rob Van Dam makes another surprise Rumble appearance, he won't win like he didn't win when he came surprising the Rumble or whatever it was, 08. Yeah, it's either 08 or 09, whatever which whatever one they were in Michigan for. Yeah, whatever it was. No, no, it wasn't in Michigan. That was, that was the oh, one that... Was. No, 08 was... Um, Whatever 08 was was the one that Cena came back, and it was just that was why it's a surprise because it wasn't in, it wasn't in California, and it wasn't in Michigan. It was like what the hell is Rob doing here? He doesn't go out of town. Anyway, that that's what I've been hearing. The two realistic ones that I've got to throw out there are Gold Dust. True. Yes, he's on the active roster, but he's rarely ever seen on TV in the role of Go Gold Dust anymore. Yeah, last time we saw him was Dustin. Yeah. And in order to further this feud for a potential Goldie Cody Rhodes match at Mania, I could see the golden one entering the Rumble. To get to get a Cody. The other one, and you would have to book it just right to make it just grip at the people the right way. That'd be the people's champ, the rock. But the way I would book it is I would have Cena already out there. Then I'd have Kane come out there and the two of them like scuffle, eliminate each other, whatever. And as soon as Cena got eliminated, I'd have The Rock come out. So that they could pass each other on the entrance ramp and give them a look. And then the fans start to get all pissed because they were this close to seeing a little taste of Cena Rock. Right past each other. It's in St. Louis. It's possible. It's possible. We'll have to con consult our sources. Right. See, see what they have to say about this. That's right. Absolutely. For all your wrestling needs. That's right. And wrestling fix. So, anyways. Anything else. So, anyways. Are they paying us for this? That is this installment of Dads on Wrestling, the Royal Rumble Predictions. Yes. Be on the lookout. For Stat Boy Rants, and I'm hoping we'll be able to get a Double D Insanity yes. Royal Rumble prediction show. That'd be awesome. So be on the lookout, and until next time, I am the Renegade of Wrestling, JJ Williams. Sorry about the original names. Yeah. I'm Jeff Meacham. And we'll see you next time.